What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Railroads Online live stream. Today we are playing on user levels. We're specifically on Clown's level. Clown has been the mad genius fixing my track in most of my late uh, live streams. And so we're going to come see how the pro does it. And I must say, just looking at his freight depot, um, <laughs> it's frankly gorgeous. <laughs> With the ties sunk into the groundwork, you can tell he spent a lot of time on it. So uh, we're going to tour his layout and we're going to load up some cars and uh, move some things around. Um, and we are once again joined by Clown himself, Pharma, and Mickley. And uh, we may Hello. have we may have one other joining us here in a little bit. But uh, right now we've got uh, Heisler that just got steamed up. It's a perfect cube named Math because Mickley's a nerd. Um, and then we've got a Climax that Pharma uh, is going to be operating and a bunch of oil tankers. Clown's been wasting most of his time fixing my track rather than playing on his own save. So uh, he doesn't have so much rolling stock for himself. Did you go on the ground oh. over here? How, yeah, how are we is just slightly too how for how are we onto us. two minutes into the live stream and you already need to pee in a cup <laughs> how funny. can you possibly crash it <laughs> there's nothing there at the right about to crash on <laughs> how is that possible uh, your track's bad clown sorry to say <laughs> oh goodness well he does have a bit of a pointless s curve through here but you know it looks cool Oh, you're talking about the wobbly track away from the freight depot. There's no reason you should crash on that. There's maximum seven degree turn there. I think yeah, I think he was re-railing onto a curve and it wasn't quite uh, all oh, the way on the track with the re-rail tool and then he backed into it and, uh, okay. and it's, uh, it's made a bit of, of a mess. So. All right, I'll get chopping then. <laughs> uh, you don't care if I leave a random clearing out in the middle of the woods, do you? Um, <laughs> You can just hold your mouse click down beside a tree and it will make the XP go up. You don't actually have to cut down a tree. But it's more fun to create a weird sacrificial circle randomly on your map that you'll never find. Oh, cut down the trees then. <laughs> he'll, he'll fill in your circle accidentally <laughs> when he just like does a replant later. Yeah. Yep, just use the rose tool and replant them all. Hmm. I'm not XP seeing that bug, but I am the up. host, so... Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Uh, you've got to have the... Basically, you select the logging tool, put it on the tree, then put it right beside the tree, and keep your left mouse button held down. So I click while well on the tree? On the tree. No, you don't click you when you're on the tree. It'll, the tree. Cut, it'll cut the tree down. <laughs> okay. I want to try this again. And Should, I you think shouldn't the show us these. Gonna need... I'm not very good at yeah. this. I keep cutting the tree down. Oh, I did. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, it's going? It's pretty it's working. You actually need to mouse over quite far from a tree. It's working? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Someone tell QMA. <laughs> Oh, we have told him that's been reported so many times in the oh, I'm, channel. I'm sure. I'm sure it has. We've got bigger fish to fry as all. Well. That's right. Bug channel, you have to tell the devs to go there. Well, you know, most of the time it's people telling us that locomotives are increasing their water level, which possibly can't be a, a thing that happens. So, <laughs> How much XP is level 2? 1,000. 1,000? Okay. Um, the ones with the state cars, do you want to do a trip to the coal mine? Because there's not going to be enough lumber here to do a trip to the... We could do that. We've, we're still in the process be of rerailing beams. them. And, oh, and yeah. getting stuck in them too. We'll take a long trip to the coal mine. Well, it's not really a long trip on this map. It's a very nice direct route at 1.75 grade. Something but tells me that does not make it a nice, nice long, short I'm trip. I'm just saying it's long because <laughs> um, it's far. 
surprisingly uh, highs. Um, it's probably faster than my route to the iron ore mine. My 1.5% to the iron ore mine is shorter than your 2% to the iron ore mine. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> it's shorter because he doesn't go down to the smelter first. He just goes straight up from the, like when he's leveled to sawmill. Oh, yeah. See, I don't have any level offs along the route either. You level off for your bridges and a couple of the turnaround points, you level off the track. Mm -hmm. Whereas it is a constant 1.5 the whole way. Corners, bridges, everything is 1.5. So once you start climbing, it's a climb all the way. Well, yours makes a lot more sense than mine. <laughs> you know, I should have had you name that high sir Aria Math, and then we could have a Minecraft meme. All right, we got uh, most of the ones that Clown bought are re-railed over here. Yeah, I'm nearing a thousand XP. Abusing the system. Oh no! How dare you? While you're playing, not like dev? it hasn't been fixed for four months. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, we're going on five months, aren't we? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, October. So, uh, clown, I have questions. Why is there just like this no, we're almost at six months. on what could have been a straightaway? Because I don't like straights, they're boring. So, you'll you'll actually find there are no straights on this map unless it's in front of a loading crane or an unloading place. Everything else is a bend. So, what about this place for re railing on and the re rail spot at the spawn? And um, well, mm -hmm. that's back basically going past the platform at the spawn area. So yes, that's a nice straight because you need a straight to be uh, able yeah. to re-rail to. I know, I'm just messing. <laughs> how many cars we got there, Heiss? Uh, eight. Is that how many? Bars? I thought I, I thought I got nine. You I might have, might have missed the number at. They're all numbered one to one to twelve. I may have missed the number. Oh, I wasn't counting him while I was re-railing him, and I was running over to the heist through to back I up, see, so. I see nine, five, four, three. In other words, they're out of order. <laughs> Is this a safe speed to couple at? Seven. Probably, I don't know. Two, one, six. I think that's all of them. Get you coupled up. Well, you're the one that wanted a heistler named Math, so. Technically, I called dibs on driving the highest server, but you're driving it, so. Well, I mean, you were over cutting down trees, <laughs> quote unquote, so yeah, it's all yours I think, if you want it. I think one of them isn't coupled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are indeed nine. Man, did you I... did you have a company or just or just the number? Hi guys. I just put the number on them. All right, so we got ten. Speaking of company, don't forget to join it. True fact. Join Clan's company. Uh, I am in the shop and I cannot get out. There is no UI. You do look what? like you're staring. Press, press the G button again. What is G for you? I have all my keys rebound. Construction menu. I'm hitting it. Nothing's happening. Don't worry about me. I'm just getting thumbnail fodder while you're stuck staring into space like a sad old man. And use the good old <laughs> Altent F4. That's what I'm thinking about, dude. Bonk. We hardly knew okay, you. <laughs> There's plenty of beams for a trip to the coal mine, but yeah, we'll, it's low on lumber. So if anyone wants to run lumber to anywhere, they'll need to do a trip with uh, log cars up to the logging camp. Too bad I'm not Which... streaming and then none of you can steal the password. <laughs> There's 12 log cars sitting in front of the pond. You can pick them up with your locomotive, and it's just a backwards and forwards line. There's nice no turnaround loops anywhere on the map. Prototypical. 
Good man. Uh, um, sadistic so snow. In terms of choosing the world to be toured, there is no choice. It, it's just random. Yeah, we. I mean, I I get asked this question. I mean, at probably three or four times a day, um, and I I didn't want to just like start doing random ones. So I figured for the first one of this kind of series that we're gonna do, uh, go to Clowns because he's been uh, just a true gem fixing all my tracks. So we might as well help uh, move some trains on his railroad. So full payback, small amount. But I do hope um, that yeah, I can the, get to get to some more eventually. So the rail on my map is modelled somewhat loosely after the rail from Southeast Queensland, Australia. So the main line's a double line with lots of little single line branch lines off of it with passing lanes. Very nice. I'm excited to look at it. Mickley, are you loading back in? Yes. And man, I get a lot worse FPS when streaming on your old than mine. You've probably got a hair a bit more track than I do. Um, about 40 kilometers. Yeah, I was going to say, that would do it. I'm excited for the new spline update that's hopefully coming soon. That would mean that a lot yeah. less assets would need to uh, load. So, Yeah, it's still a, still a ways out. I finally got to see the new splines in game, but you can't place them yet. So, <laughs> It's literally about to be 2 a.m. in NYC. Well, over on the West Coast, uh, it's not even 11 p.m., so... Mm. Oh, I'm heading to the iron mine. <laughs> All right, and here's Mick Lee back from the dead. Yeah, I'm still kind of like sort of loading in, so it's super jittery, and I have like two FPS, but... Well, you know. I used to play on a potato, so I'm making do. <laughs> Since then, fun fact, I have rebuilt, or built my own computer, and turned into more of a nerd than I already was. So there you go. Hence yeah. the math. And you know what? <laughs> Some people pay streamers to call them a nerd. Um, if you know, you know, <clears throat> and I got heist to call me a nerd for free. It's true. It's true. I did that. <laughs> free so, Mick, charge. I take it you're a fan of my free quarters plus or minus one quarter. Eh, I just think you're weird for that. He just likes tolerances. He's into that GDNT, West Coast gang, indeed. How soon is soon, Mix uh, asks about the spline update. Um, absolute earliest end of next week, I think, would be the earliest we would see him on the, the public build. But And before it releases tomorrow. <laughs> Q may could. <laughs> he could pull a fast one on us and surprise us with that, but I really doubt it. Um, because the, the test that I saw in game, I mean... It's just a pre-built spline in the world. You can't. Eat, it's not even in the construction menu, um, and the train that um, was on it for testing was not a train that you could like interact with, other than go up and grab the throttle in the Johnson bar. Uh, you couldn't rerail other trains onto the track. You know, it, there's. It still has yet to replace uh, or be alongside the existing tracks. So, um, the cars are jittering out like crazy because i still hear track being placed in so i literally can't connect them well it's okay They're, i'll let this just kind of drift the heisler just to the backflip for well, reference it, it's still on the rails on my end but yeah <laughs> let me uh i can run back and pin him up and then when you're when you're feeling back amongst the living all the way you can you can grab the heisler and run it is your dibs well, you can come with. You can load for me. Oh yeah, of course. No, I'll I'll, I'll ride with you. I'll be your brakeman. So, but yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll sit in the up. cab and do nothing while you do all the fun work. Something like that. Yeah. Oh man, I'm still sitting at like three FPS. Well, I've got fifteen. So. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, yeah. I've got sixty. Well, yeah. lucky you. We are all jealous. Well, a little easier on the. I phone. just about got launched to space, is what it looked like. <laughs> I got sixty, but yeah, the train is not handling it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's the that's the server. New splines, hopefully, will make that a lot better. Yeah, thank you, all you East Coasters, showing up at two a.m. for a stream. I'm a West Coast lad, so the these do tend to end up being pretty late. So.
Well, I'm on the rear whenever you're ready to pull ahead there, Mickley. Let's hope for the best, then. <laughs> that was an interesting derailment. You've binned it. Yep, there was a switch at the end of here that wasn't set, and instead of just, like, you know, doing the normal, you know, stop and half the train comes off, the train actually just, like, slid off and was pushed off the rails by the switch. Weird. Yes, this is the public version of the game. Wasatch Wind, who wants splines when we could have had signs? You don't want signs yet. You want new splines, believe me. Um, it's looking more and more like we're probably going to have to replace track with the new update, but QMA is yet to confirm that either way. Uh, just, I have a sinking feeling in my stomach that that's what we're going to end up with, but as soon so, as we know, either way, we'll confirm it for you. Is this switch set in our favor? Because I cannot see it. I can't see it from back here. I'm all the way on the rear. I suppose right, I should I'll run up the there. the brakes on. Uh, I can't see it from here either. <laughs> Come on, lads. Have we stopped it yet? Is, yes, we have stopped, and it is lined in our favor. All I guess right. they'll come be your fireman. How about that? I'll protect this side of the locomotive. Oh, look, we've uh, even got a might be, hatch Might that be a opens. good idea. A, a window that opens two inches. That's helpful. There's an injector branch pipe or something in the way. Oh, no, it's not. I don't know what that is. Some pipe running over the top of the thing. Oh, it's that that's the steep delivery line for the engine set. That's funny. Hi, cheers, pies. Welcome. Uh, Adam Wid14, uh, I'm the host, and Clown is a client, and the host has worse FPS than the client's pretty much always. I could probably get 100 FPS on this if I were to be a client, I would guess, based on how I perform on the dev server. Just me just being solo fooling around was way more interactive. Well, the, the Twitch streams aren't going away. We still do those, but they tend to be uh, a lot less uh, formal and a lot less... Um, clean <laughs> I couldn't think of a better word so not as great for a, a wide audience so anyway yeah are we grabbing rails for the coal mine as well clown or just the beams um well you can't grab one one wagon full let's have a look here there's currently 30 there as far as I know rails so you can grab one or two we have we get 36 beams if we do all 12 you're running hard mode industries well steam cloud uh, ever nah, we'll just take beams it's fine that's a we'll good balance question. out the rails that are already there we need two loads i hope we can get even... steam cloud that would be but nice but we're thinking about it hard when he made the server Hmm? What industry difficulty did you set when you loaded the server? Oh, I set it medium. Eh. Would you prefer hard? We could reset. Nah, it's fine on medium. I normally play on hard, but yeah, on medium's fine. Medium's kind of the as God intended. As, <laughs> as long as um, it's not on easy. Because easy's just silly. It just makes so much stuff for you. It's crazy. Yeah. I think we're coming up on a switch. I don't know. Uh, we are getting I... close. I'm in the cab with you, so I'll let you know if oh, it's okay. lined. Yeah, I'm I'm still jittery as all heck. And I think we're going quite slow. But I like the I can't tell how fast we're going. We're not going that fast. Uh, and it is lined for us. Good lord, this track is pretty. <laughs> this this perfectly parallel dual main line. All right, next, you're lined two. <laughs> Mix, okay. uh, the last uh, the last Twitch stream that ended in a long period of silence was after um, uh, my car got nailed in the driveway by some drunk at 12.30 in the morning. And so I had to run out and, and talk to the police and stuff for a couple hours. 
Uh, it looks uh, we're no longer lined. This next switch is sending us into a switch that's not lined for us, and we want to be on the uh, little, the right main, I suppose. So hard run, out, run out and grab that. All right, now we're lined. I'm assuming your two main lines go everywhere, or do we need to cross across to get to the sawmill? Um, if you're on the left-hand li line, you've got to... I Whoa. mean, if you're in the right-hand line, you'll have to cross. Okay, but if we'll you're in the left-hand line, it goes to the sawmill. Um, the, the main line goes from the smelter to the ironworks. Gotcha. So we need to cross over onto the left to go to the sawmill. So we'll do that. Yeah, my IRL car. Yeah, my IRL car got hit. Um, <laughs> we live on a quiet street. And, uh, yeah... Some uh, very, very inebriated woman uh, came in and smacked into our car, probably going about 50 miles an hour. Anyways, uh, we are clear, so. I feel like you need to put whose world it is in the description. Uh, yeah, I guess I, I, I do have a description, title. don't I? I put it originally in the title, but then we were going back and forth on, on uh, whose we were going to go visit, so. It's just, if three people have asked and we've, we're like what five minutes in. You know, judging by the performance in Clans World, I don't think we're quite ready for my cursed monstrosity. Yeah, not not with me hosting and streaming. I don't think. Can we get some pre-made turns? No, you don't want pre-made turns. <laughs> you just don't. So. I've got extended up and running now, so. Hopefully. Uh, oh, so no. you, you should be able to throw switches and, and the like? In theory, but I can't throw these. It's glitched out. The are next lined. switch. The next switch is not lined. Not at the one after this one. Gotcha. I see it. Yeah, this track is beautiful, Clan. Should I break? Uh, no, I got you. Okay. And we need to grab beams, so we'll line this. And although you do have back-to-back -back switch machines or switch stands right there, which is uh, a big no-no in railway design. So we'll deduct points for that, but uh, otherwise, beautiful. Yeah, that's a case of there's not enough room and the switches are too long. Well, that's, that is the, about the best answer you could give me back, so. <laughs> Such a good fireman leaves me with no fire. Well, Which, yes, you'll find a lot of that. There's another one there. You're coming up on where there's two back to back. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Head in, Brakeman. I'm lining your switches. You can toss logs on the fire. I did. I can see that the switches are aligned. I just. Hey, Tristan's here. I'll probably try restarting at some point. The extended. Hi, I've just arrived at the on mine. The. Uh... All your your uh, qualms about laying track are going to be changed entirely pretty shortly here. So, I'm curious though. What if I'm I'm over in the U.S. What if I was hosting? Uh, would, give me would a lot more improve? FPS. We have. I'm past the beams. You are much past the beams, but just keep yeah. going. We can load from the rear. Oh, okay. Doesn't make a difference. Just keep going. I honestly can't tell where I am, so... Uh, keep going. You got about six cars to go. Hey, gang. How's hey, it going? Hey, Tristan. Hello. Hello. Got about... Staying out of trouble? Four to go. Uh, no. I My middle Two name is Trouble. <laughs> and one more now. One and a half, really. Now one... Half a car. Quarter car. Slack is doing some things there. Yeah, no worries. Still about a half. Now a quarter, now that Slack's back out. How's that? Uh, another quarter car. <laughs> so good at this. Dude, the Slack is doing the thing. No worries. Uh, anywhere in there is fine. All right. Let's see about loading this. Remember, he's an six... engineer, not a conductor. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Um, I'm qualified as both, though, but whatever. I should be able to do it. Kroom has asked 16 times who, uh, who we're going to go look at you. next. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I've gotten requests to tour a bunch. Um, so, I, could, we, I don't know. Depends on uh, how things go here. If 
folks want to see other random worlds, we could go do that. If anyone's got any stupid stuff they need fixed or want looked at or want to show off your route, I'm sure everyone wants to show off their railroad, but... Kristen, uh, make sure to join the company for clown. All right, bring it back to cars, number 27. Back to cars. On it, joining the company. One car to go, number 27. One car. Half. And about a quarter still to go. Ah. I was trying. That'll do. Wasa and twin, and I must answer you slack. again. I don't. I don't have the answer on if we are, uh, if we're gonna have to replace all our tracks or not. I hope not, but I don't know. So. I imagine even if we do, someone's going to make a tool that will just convert your track to the new spline system. I would way. not be surprised if if either Kume comes up with one because he tried to do a really good fix when we changed the tree system that was pretty seamless. So I wouldn't be surprised if he does that with the new spline system, but I mean, it's not just a new spline system. It's also a new way that the trains interact with the track, and I mean, it's a lot of stuff. So anyway, bring it back two more, number 27. Back two. Uh, yes, Tech Tree Map is available as a file on the Discord. And yes, the Colorado Railroad Museum has many locomotives. There's a good Ooh, question. One more car. Is the tier list available? Uh, yes, it's in the description of the tier list video. Half car. Oh. That'll do. It's also pinned in the main channel on the Discord. I think it, yeah, I think it's pinned in the main channel too. Yeah. I mean, if you're talking my like our stupid ranked version that's filled out, I don't think yes, so. Yes, the, the tier list. The the tier list um unfilled out that you can fill out is there, but I um I think I've got a screenshot of the one that we filled out somewhere. But... Oh no, it, it's pinned in the general. Oh, good. I, I hadn't seen it. Must have missed it. Catfish pinned it. Yeah, no oh. no new rolling stock is going to come until a fair bit after the spline improvement, so. <laughs> Lunar Dragon is 11.13 p.m. West Coast over here. Bring him back two more, number 27. Back two. I haven't tried to sink the track flush with the uh, groundwork before. I've always done about halfway. This looks really nice. It, look, it does look really nice, doesn't it? One Clean. more car. One car. Half more, 27. And this whole map Quarter only took more, about 200 hours to make. It only took about 200 hours to build. Stop, 27. Roger, roger. Yeah, and that's why not a single oil has been run so far. <laughs> 200 hours uh, because has everything because connected. Tools pays, tools pays too much. Well, we wanted more excuses for people to run boxcars and then cry about loading stuff for about an hour per car. <laughs> oh, so that's why. Yeah, <laughs> See, okay, that that's, makes that's more sense. Why. We want you guys to feel the pain. We don't want the game to be enjoyable. We want you guys to have to cry and uh, suffer through it. So, fortunately, since the money is meaningless, I just run the oil anyway because mm -hmm. you know <laughs> the money is meaningless. Uh, yeah, the whole economy of the game is kind of really placeholder, obviously. Anyway, bring it back. Two more, number twenty-seven. Back two. Starting to feel the weight. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, you probably do. It's like when you get into consists that are worth over a hundred grand. Number twenty-seven. You know. One more. One more. Have to go. Number twenty-seven. Half. Quarter more. Twenty-seven. Quarter. Twenty-seven. Stop. So. I'm sure a lot of people are being like, why is he saying the number of the engine every time? Um, that's typically a rule for railroad radio communication. And I can't tell you the number of times I have blown a gasket about people doing that wrong on the real railroad. The, there is a big deal uh, about giving signals, you know, telling trains what to do, where you, are, you have to designate one person and one method 
and you do not change it. And if you change it, you have to have a meeting saying, this is what we're doing. Um, so it's like the amount of times, uh, number 27, bring it back to, uh, back the, to. the number of times I've been receiving radio signals from a conductor and then someone starts giving hand signals. It's like, no, you can't do that. Not unless he, the conductor tells me one more number 27. One more half half quarter anywhere in there is great number 27 one of your your engineers got fired over that i believe it i'm curious mr heiss this guy has said he wants a two truck shay um if you might direct your attention to our previous conversation about shays can i reference this the uh the uppy downy thing go go fast uh no the the thing you shared with us earlier today oh <laughs> that two two truck sh- not really a shay uh no no not on oh. uh, not on youtube if we if we change over to twitch maybe we'll 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 do some of that stuff later on but no not on can YouTube. can i talk about it you could you could briefly describe it for the viewers okay so essentially um because heist is very good it's at keeping red, secrets um we were Choo-choo. given Choo-choo go fast a short clip Boom. of Vroom. a flat car uh with no stakes with a conductor and a johnson bar and a reverser or no those are the same thing it's johnson bar and a throttle yeah, yeah johnson bar and a throttle on it and that was it so i'm like oh <laughs> is so that are getting after the game <laughs> He took the wrong thing out of it. Uh, clown, how do we get to? Uh, where do we need to go with these beams again? So I gotta pull. I gotta pull forward through the switch, which I just did, and then set a couple handbrakes, and I gotta go to the turntable at the end of this. These you don't need any. Oh. You don't know. Reverse up those. I was gonna take us through the There's Y. There's a Y. Reverse, yeah. reverse was... through the Y. Reverse down the Y, and then yeah. come back out the correct direction. Yeah, uh, you don't have to hop off at all. Uh, bring him back. You know what? I just wanted to use the turntable. Okay. Number twenty-seven. Bring him back. Brake bin protecting point. Uh, uh, you're good I... for five cars. It's Start not long five. enough down there. But the runaround's not long enough to get around twelve cars. Well, sure it is. I just leave him parked in front of the loading bit. He was gonna. Oh, he was gonna. You can do that. Yeah. Sure, I can. I can do whatever the heck I want. Well, you're not the uh, <laughs> the conductor of this here train. You're the engineer, which means you drive it, and I tell you what to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you where to drive. That's you right. Drive the train. Anarchy. Yeah. Oh no. Number twenty-seven. You are good for twenty cars. Keep them coming back. Alrighty. All right. I've walked up here. Oh look, friends. Hello, friend. We have friends. Where'd you get Fantastic. those? <laughs> yeah, where did we get those? <laughs> <laughs> Finally got the first wheel car in position. You're still good for about another 20 cars there, number 27. Perfect. <laughs> Just keep sending it until you see the switch stand. Oh, you want me to send so, it? Okay. Well, you know. See what happens. All right. Uh, you want to go get the next switch, Tristan? The third, uh, third switch. To uh, the y? Yeah, where I haven't been here before. I'm going down this way. Uh, you're, yeah, switch. going down the other leg of the Y. You see, we, the one that we didn't come down. Towards the smelter. Yeah. All right. You just did um, the pro kid strat, Mikaly. That was beautiful. All right, 27. Bring him ahead. You're good for about eight until we get the switch. Okay, number 27. When you're coming down to the smelter, stick to the left lane. Stick to the left smelter, lane left on the lane. way down to the smelter. And uh, right after the Y, is that where we... Do we go left there? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, there's, so there's two Ys. There's the Y right at the to the logging pond track, and then there's the one that goes uh, we to the, the take, track main. No, we want to go to the Y. Okay. Uh, we need to line both the okay. switches to the right. One second. Yeah. Good lining. Okay. You've got... Um, you're good for about five cars more. Now you're good for about ten. And I'll grab the next switch. Essentially, we have to run around the whole smelter uh, to get to the coal mine. Gotcha. 
Excuse me. Yes, the smelter's actually a run through, even though it doesn't look like it's a run through. Gotcha. Okay, so we are going. This is kind of cute. The groundwork to the switch stands. I like that. Uh, you are lined through to the left hand main line on the dual track main, Mickley. So, uh, number 27, keep them coming. 20 cars and pick us up and we'll ride with you. And look at this nice universal interlocking. It's very nice. It's not an interlocking, really, but universal crossover. <laughs> Not a puzzle switch? Wow. <laughs> universal interlocking? What? Uh, so the universal, uh, this is, uh, I'm using inside baseball terms again. A universal uh -huh. interlocking is uh, the term for a left-hand crossover, right-hand crossover in series. You'll be, gotcha. you'll be lined all the way down to the bottom now. Lined all the way down Perfect. to the bottom. Perfect, thank you. All right, well, we'll ride it. Uh, what's uh, percent of the grade on the way down? 2.75. 2.75 so we will i'll tie down a couple breaks when we start getting on the uh getting on the hill here why is it um, called just leave the reg on 100 it'll be fine well i mean you titus corner titus corner's 29 so yeah you can just let it roll all right it'll then get let it roll if you just let it roll <laughs> well let's uh let's let's see clowns track in action on the es and d we'd be puckering but <laughs> so um is 29 <laughs> should 29 or 27 send it uh, no, 27, once we get to the downhill, just let it roll, but you can send it till we get there. Send it! Lunar Dragon, uh, Mickley was the one that wanted the high slur, so we figured we'd let him run. And I ran all last I, time. I so. called dibs so he, fast. He did. And yes, American terminology is uh, cars, not wagons. Yeah, train cars, we don't call them wagons or... We don't say bogeys. There's a lot of stupid little terminology differences across the world. Yeah, bogeys are trucks. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and you'll you'll keep Wagons hearing me say uh, you'll keep me hearing me say Johnson Bar when I'm talking about uh, what most people know as the cutoff or the reverser, but everyone in in the states that's involved with steam calls it a Johnson Bar. So, where is the caboose? Yeah, where is the caboose? We don't have one. No, I don't Do have, I have any caboose. It's probably left on top of the, the uh, iron mine or something. I, a smelter. I had them and I sold them all. They're, uh, they're just caboose dead weight, really. So. Uh, free leg. Oh, Useless yeah. Useless weight. I've been, I'd been uh, <laughs> waiting to answer that, Wasatch. Thank you. Pies36 asked, uh, Do you have any tips on becoming a steam locomotive mechanic or restorer? And, you, yeah, you really just got to find... Uh, uh, a volunteer outfit that's near you and, and just go put the time in. I mean, there's no substitute for that. I didn't get to go pull the throttle because I showed up and said, hey, can I drive? I got to go and <laughs> run a train because I went in and worked in the pit and did gross things to locomotives and fabricated parts for a couple hundred hours before they let me do anything fun. Um, so you put the time in and, and do it because you want to and because you love it. I mean, that's that's the way to do it, so... But good lord, this uh, this railroad's pretty. But with the track sunk into the groundwork, the the amount of time you've put into this, this is really nice. Not much time. Well, it's, well I, built, I built pretty fast. I've built. Is it um, sunk into the bridges too? It's sunk into the bridges as well. That's neat. That is neat. Yeah, I've built. Uh, I've connected all the industries three and what five eighths times now. Uh, in the in a what you said it's 200 hours for this level so in a, the same amount of time you've built the level once so <laughs> although you do have a bunch of time helping other people like myself so i shouldn't talk too much smack but <laughs> yes ties are sleepers your railroad nice yeah yeah the sleepers i'm once again asking for the regulator to be named the throttle yes please throttle in the johnson bar Thought they were called gondolas. Yeah, we don't have any gondolas uh, in game yet. No blessed gond. Caboose is on top of the smokestack. Not on this level. This is an yet. Australian Whoever... level. The the cabooses yet. don't live on the uh, the smokestacks yet. Um, if you're yet. first to the smelter, the person who's first down there needs to go up the Y underneath the bridge. Needs to go up to the Y underneath the bridge. Yes. I'm and currently forth. heading towards the smelter from the other direction. Got you. Um, well, we're going around the bridge in the canyon right now. 
I'm running down. There's a there's the Y by the uh, raw iron loading side of things. Yeah, that's it. By the lot, by the loading. Yeah. Where do you need and it lined? So we have we come around and around the bottom and come in from the south side of the Y. Well, we're coming in from the north, but he's coming in from the south. Yeah, so we come in from the north oh, and then loop around the south to get into that Y. Ah, I see. And where are you I'm coming from? I'm coming from the east. Coming from the east. Okay. Well, well the northeast to the southeast. Day. Yeah, I'm going to slow down because I think you're going to get I, there I need to pull me. up your mini zwerg somewhere, I think. Because I, I have no idea where you're coming from. I'm assuming you're Or you could just way. get Railroads Online extended and have a mini map. Well, you know. Mm. Wouldn't that be nifty? No plans for sw slip switches, and I know that for sure because Peyton threw a fit over it. Yeah, Peyton Just... will. Yeah, Peyton will murder people before we get slip or kick or, or spring switches. It's not gonna stop me screaming in kick switch every time I run over the backside of one. That's understandable. <laughs> All right, uh, twenty-seven stop. You do not have permission across this diamond. Uh, why not? Because. We're not no, trying don't to tell me why not. I'm trying to be defiant. I'm going to run the train into the other one. If this was I'm the sure S&D, I, about... I would encourage it, but, you know. Yeah, it's a race. 10-4, slowing down. Stopping. And I'm lined, I'm lined to come into bridge. the Y? Uh, you will be. You are now. Well, I don't know what your road number is. What's your road number? 11. I'm 11. These ones go to 11. Sorry, I had to. Legally required. Um, number 11, you are lined only through the first leg of the Y. And now you are lined through to the three-track, presumably, stub yard. The, uh, the oh, to run around. Yeah, it's run a around. stub yard and a run around. Yep. I don't know how you're lined on the uh, west end of it, but the east end, you're lined through. Is uh, 27 clear to come through to drop lumber? 27 can now come drop lumber. Well, it's not dropping lumber here, but... I know. I'm going to... 27 I will full wait in the siding. Got full pile. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. There we go. Full pile of rails there. That's fun. I'm on wait. Yes, you don't actually use many rails compared to the raw iron. You, you don't. use a lot of raw iron and a lot of cordwood. Yeah, you use, like, one rail for every 10 coal you get, and... One coal supplies you with like how many tools? So many that you don't need to go and run any oil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oh, I see how this works. We come around and go this way. Oh, I see. So now this makes sense. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a run round with a crossover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, Twenty-seven. Q. Am I clear to run the whole way through the smelter? Uh, not yet. You're clear to the first leg of the Y. Okay. Second leg is not lined for you yet, though. We'll be in a second. All right, 27, you're lined all the way through the diamond again. Um, and you are lined to the mines plateau. There's a switch at the mines plateau to turn off to the go to the coal mine. 10 4. Turning left, I presume. Yes, have to turn left. It's currently always, behind mine. Always turning left. Uh, Cedar Point trains probably won't come into the game just because they're itty bitty. I mean, that's that's part of the reason why it's like eh, they don't have much of a place. We've already got so much of the small offerings covered. Room, it is unlikely to be a super well laid track that uh the pipe that dispenses oil still clips the top of the tanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's got a nice sound to it, that chime. It does. Love a chime whistle. Yes. It's a great northern five chime for those playing at home. Much better than a hooter. Much better. Hooters are awful. Changed my mind. It is 11.30 for me right now. All right, are we all running out of uh, the smelter on the lumber train, or where it's, what's the breakup of the crew? Uh, you could go with clan if you like, uh, or you could come with us. Doesn't make a difference to me. 
Clown, do you I need a break? I absolutely need a conductor to help move these oil cars. Well, you're on the other All side right. of the map. <laughs> it's a little far for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit respawn and you're halfway there. That is true, but... <laughs> it is. I, I, I can bounce. Um, I'm already here by a clown's train. Clown, where are you at? Um, I'm about to reverse back the way I came. So I can head back up the hill. 27, clear of the sawmill. Following lumber. Um, we need to run logs. Because the sawmill's out of wood. Alright. Vonk G, that. how come the switches don't auto kick when you hit them from the opposite direction? Because the real ones don't. The real ones, the switch stand goes kaboom, and then the switch is broken. So. Clown, I, you're not going into the yard, are you? You're gonna try and follow up over the crossover? Yeah, I'm going, yeah, follow up the crossover. All right. Uh, what is your line to the mine plateau? What percentage is that? Um, well, you're on 2.75 at the moment, and once you get past the mines plateau, it's 1.75. Gotcha, 2.75. And it right follows now. the marked route. If anybody in the chat wants to watch, like, wants to see how the track is laid out, there is a minis word link. Uh, just look up K10WN. So K10WN. And it's the only one that's there, so. Keep us on the track, Mickley. I'm going to be right back. All right. I'll do my best. I'd rather not pee in a cup tonight. I put the link in chat. Yeah, I can put the link in chat. We... No, I did put the link in chat. You did? Alright, cool. I also put it in chat. And only because I don't see yours. Okay, I'm back. Looks like we're still on the rails, so... I am killing now. 2792. I'm two messages above you. Let's see. Top speed limit of all trains is capped to a max limit. When will that limit be removed? With the new spline update. Um, and I can confidently say we're going to be able to go poop your pants fast. <laughs> Having seen what I've seen earlier today. Um, coming up on a real pretty bridge here. This is a really pretty bridge. I was just thinking that. This is gorgeous. You're, I am I am jealous of your railroad. It's really pretty. I think your railroad is probably the best alignment we could do without cuts. I think I build my railroad assuming that I can make cuts and I try to hug too hard. Um, trying to get you'll that see feel. when you get up further um, towards the um, coal mine that I've done exactly the same thing that you have with how I've hugged the edges. Beautiful. There's there's several and places you do, but sometimes the train doesn't do well for it, and I put zigzags in when I shouldn't. And yeah, you can nail it there 100% the whole way. There's no tight corners. So, Heiss, do we want to address uh, Kroom's continuing question of whose map you are joining next? Um, I mean, it depends on uh, how long we want to run on this one. If, uh, if more people want to have maps looked at, I'm happy to go tour around. I mean, with load times and everything, it doesn't make the, the most riveting entertainment, I don't think, but be more than gamed up to look at someone else's level. If Providing they, uh, they give a Miniswerg link to their... Uh, their level first to see if it's something that would be interesting to talk about. I think. I think that would be my process. I am, so. I am tempted to create a Google form for submissions. I would accept that. We could do that. Would actually be smart, actually, because I get so many DMs of random people asking for random things. I can take over running if you want to do that. Uh, sure, but our switch is not aligned. Oh, have hence, we have we come up upon it? Slowdown. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, we're I about see the switch through the we're trees. about ten, twelve cars ahead. 
We're using or standard gauge speed back up because we're. No, I'm I'm guesstimating off of mini map. That's fair. Um, okay, so is it the first switch or the second? Uh, uh turn that one switch. left. Yep. yep. And then I can't see the next two yet. Looks like that should be good. I think this. Yeah, uh... There are any passing lines? The second ones. Gotcha. Keep bringing it here. Yeah, I'm sort of kind of stalling out. Apparently, this is a lot. Let's see, and 12 be cars, the beams all loaded. Eisler says we should be fine. You do not have to fill the tender on any of the engines that often right now because the, the water usage is really, really limited. Oh, I had to fill one yesterday. I actually ran it out. Did you really? But that was that. That was twelve hours of solid driving. Yeah, the real ones don't last that long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't want your tender break all the way on, huh, clown? Was it on? On one hundred percent. Oh well, that's why we're going slow up the hill. I was wondering why we were bogging down with empties. <laughs> Yeah, Heist, my offer still stands if you want to experience five frames per second. Um, I would love to see your climax mess, but I think I'd have to have Mickley host me join, I think. <laughs> you get any sort of meaningful stream, I would guess. Yeah. Cheers to whoever yes. opened a can of something stood mix. Yes, I opened a can of Coke. You heard me. Well, Coke Zero, not a Coke, but, you know. Coke Zero is the best. Also, that's a great idea. Thank you. Right. Especially when you put whiskey in it, but, you know. Is there another? I have, I have a problem. I've conflated the flavors. Mm -hmm. I, at this point, it's... it's that. <laughs> right. Right. Oops. God, that, that's, I, that, that hit me in the feels right there. That was funny. I'm sorry. Oh, whiskey Coke's so hard that you don't even need the whiskey in your Coke anymore. You just taste it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, or the other way around, if you're going to be quick about it. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my goodness. Mix, Let's I see. am frustrated with you. I said a normal the water tank gains water when you're choo-chooing away. Uh, 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 <laughs> do we need to do a stream clip for this too so that we can paste it in in the discord somewhere uh, why is why is my water level big boy right now you just crush this man. why is my water level rising why is water increasing in choo choo i help i didn't put water in my train but there's more water going in you guys have a bug in your game. The water level keeps going up in the train. It doesn't. That's not how that works. Why is the water level in the choo-choo keep going? <laughs> the water level only shows what's in the boiler. And there's this neat device called the injector that places water in the boiler from the tender tank. You can look via the hatch where there's water, and you can see that we have used some of it. We actually used a fair bit of it. We have used someone, the water. The water is Someone going remind down. me to clip this later. Specifically the hurdy dur at the beginning. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> God. Yeah, if I could lay track this nice, the world probably would implode, I think. This is this is really it's still like pretty authentic, like nice feeling, narrow gauge feeling track. Despite being on the stone wall that isn't really that accurate to narrow gauge except for one location, but um <laughs> It looks really great. This is a, it's a the closest brilliant thing we have to a cut for cliffs. Leave yeah, it alone. E e exactly, and that's it's, yeah. what it is. it's an inverse yeah. cut. And you'll notice there's no transition bumps between the rail decking and the normal track as you're passing over them. They are perfectly aligned because I overlap the sections as I build. It is beautiful. Uh, Mix asked if we could use kid words instead of clever words. Hang on, hang on, I got this. <laughs> So, there is a, th see the little water level in your loco? 
That measures the amount of water in the boiler. There's a separate thing that holds water, be that a tank or a tender, where you stick the spout in, that is not the boiler. To get the water from the tank or tender into the boiler, there's this middle step called the injector. So the injector takes water from the tender or tank and pumps it into the boiler, and then the only readout you have is the boiler water. So it goes up because the boiler water gets used, and then other water gets injected into the boiler to be used again. And yeah. I don't think I can make it any simpler without sounding incredibly sarcastic and patronizing. Yeah, that's probably where I was going to go. That was actually a really good explanation. I was going to be somewhere along stupider lines than that. This is a really ch pretty chunk of railroad. I've never actually laid over in this canyon still somehow um, on any of my levels, but... Anyway, um, do the devs have an idea for a more accurate version of the Stonewall Groundwork? Well, technically, the Stonewall Groundwork is very accurate to the DSP and P's Alpine Tunnel. It just was, like, the only place that that existed. It is a historical thing. Like, that is actually based on something from Colorado Narrow Gauge. Um, it was just one place and not common. So, um, we will we be having... Going back into the second siding. We will be having more um, flavors of like cribbing and retaining walls and all that sort of stuff down the road. Your line for the sighting, number eleven. Mix it. I'm going um, to ask if there's going to be an option to like mix and match the walls on foundation, so I like, could have the dirt on one side, the stone on the other. That would um, be nice. Oh, one second. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I thought you meant ahead. That's my under misunderstanding. No, All right, get it up. So the, um, as far as the readout for uh, tender water level goes, this is something we've gone back and forth on a bench. And I, I do think we will just add a tender readout to the UI because the UI already gives kind of unrealistic expectation of a lot of values you can't see anyways. But uh, on no tender I've ever run across, do you, can you measure the water level in any meaningful way? Um, on like big standard gauge stuff, yes, they had like nice, somewhat metered, you know, sight glasses for the tenders or whatever. But I mean, most narrow gauge engines didn't have any way to do that. You just open the tank and look. And, and I mean, it took you two seconds to go back and check. Can right, we get a long yardstick thing that's a for checking the level? That'd be fun. I can actually look at the color of the fire to tell how hot my fire is burning. The I will only accept if we can get a, a measuring stick. If you can throw it like a spear at other players. Um, lock down the bar brake on the back car. I'll be down with that. We can get into the Copy whole that. PvP aspect of the game. Exactly, that's what I'm telling you. We gotta increase the amount of competition in the game. You've got you one know, car have, length. Have the railroads wage wars on each other. Half car. You're even. You're even number 11. Go ahead and stop there. Yep, should fit in there neatly. Fantastic. All right, one car is tied down at the back. And one tied down at the front. All right. Ice, the man himself, has needed to take care of some business for the time being. So for now, you get to hear the nice five chime while he's not here. Are we picking up the logging cars then? Yeah, pick, picking up the log cars. Gotta get a load of logs. All right. That's a nice scenic route along there on the coal mine. Running beside Very the much river. so. We all pinned. You're all ready to back in. And one more foot, number 11. 
Um, I really hope his Yearling. car hasn't been nicked. I'm going to go remove Because brakes. that would be sad. And then... And their front and back will have a brake on. Jelly Farms speedometer oh, um, has been confirmed to not be added to the game, specifically because literally zero of these engines had That's speedometers. Going. If you really want a speedometer, Railroads Online Extended has a current speed readout. This steel trestle on coming up the coal mine is really nice, clown. Uh, just before the horseshoe. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, the Heisler has a five chime. Yeah, once you get onto the horseshoe, then you stay on the marked route all the way there for the rest of the way up. Mm-hmm. We just entered the horseshoe. Are we going to need the alignments changed up there? Are we good to go through? Um... Yeah, there's one switch to change at the top. All right. I'll yes, I would love for the class 70 to get a six chime, but apparently Peyton's mad about it, so. I don't actually know if it's Peyton, so take this with a grain of salt. I'm just memeing on Peyton because he's not here and I can. Fair enough. When in doubt, blame the catfish. <laughs> the courts will allow. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Mary Ruth, I would also love for a six chime on the class 70. Uh, Wasatch Wind, I believe we are indeed on the 2.75% all the way to the coal mine. No, 1.75. 1.75, so it was just 2.75 into the smelter. Yeah, once you get up into that mines plateau, it drops off to level until you cross the river, and then it climbs from the river all the way up at a constant 1.75. Perfect. And there's no tight corners. You can nail it the whole way. Tightest corners are 25. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm at 100% rag. I'm not going that fast, though. Not, not hitting the speed cap or anything. I'm curious if it's a me being slightly desynced issue. Yeah, I think it could just be... Hey, you're running the heist there, you can't. That's my bad. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm curious if I don't have a car brake on somewhere. I'm gonna check. I don't think I'm coming up on any switches soon. Alright, are we uh, switching to the right or left up here? Um, no, we are correct to go through. All right. You know what? Oh, goodness. Oh, man, I'm glitching out. Fear not, for I have returned. You may need to drive the train. I'm checking brakes <laughs> because I well, think we're yeah. going slightly slow. You, you, ne you may need to drive the train. Mickey has died. Sorry about that, folks. We had a... Weird sound around the house, and I had to kind of do a quick check around. So. Yeah. I just told me at a personal issue, and everyone was like, oh no, he's dead. <laughs> Thanks for surviving. I did hear a, a brief thing about a, a C class 70 with a six chime, and uh, uh, for my graduation of mines, we uh, we celebrated by putting the SP six chime on 346. So it's it happened prototypically, so maybe that'll be enough of an argument to put it in. I mean, we just had to convince Peyton, so. <laughs> Not quite far enough forward. I think um, what I really want to see is just um, every engine getting a vaguely appropriate historical whistle. So, 
single note, we're line, five tone, we're line whatever. Delivery. Excellent. Um, I'm not I'm not sure about after that though. I just want to see the ability see? to put any whistle on any engine. I want to yes. put five time on the porter and just yes. watch the pressure drop. So that's that's what I want to get to. I want everything to come, no matter at uh, unless you've gotten to like a certain point. Like I want it to be an achievement. Like you can unlock whistles for other locomotives or something. You know, give you something to work for. So everything comes historically with what it would have had, and then uh, as you unlock it, uh, y you can apply them in your roundhouse kind of thing. That's the mechanic I'd like to see. But you are in Clan's company, yes? Yeah, I checked. You should slow down, though. Yep, working on it. And uh, when do we unlock camos for the locomotives? <laughs> 100 kills. Yeah, when we start yeah. the... Uh, when we... That was the right answer. <laughs> yeah, you get Blue Tiger upon um, uh, 100 uh, 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 reflector shots of the headlight. All That's right, the best headshot we're I'm going to have to work for fall camo then. Thank you. How's that speed, Mick? You're good. And my power to hit switches is returned, so... Number 11, you're clear to move forward. Excellent. New engines are just going to be added to the base game. We were planning for the whole tech tree to be available at no additional cost. All good there, number 11. You mean, you mean we're not run by EA? We're not run by EA. <laughs> if, EA or, if, if EA or anyone else ran us <laughs> oh, did those switches just throw that was magical railroads online extended no I didn't throw any switches oh I, I, tur I turned my camera and I watched two switches flip so maybe they just rendered they might be lined against you because yeah the last there. time you're there of course they get turned to go around the run around so we're all unloaded you can stop Okay. and then we can There's, just take the uh, engine on the Y yeah, there's a Y and a run around to turn around there at the coal mine. Okay. Yeah, you might need to back up slightly though. To keep okay. it prototypical. So I'll s Okay. Uh go ahead and pull forward, you're good to get on the Y. If somebody had no experience operating a locomotive, but they had operated in train sim, would they be able to operate the real thing? Absolutely not. If you've only run in train sim, you don't even know. You won't even know how to speak English when you get in a locomotive. <laughs> it's just get sitting in one of those things for the first time. Yet you think you may know something, having played a, a simulator of some flavor, but you don't. You know nothing. And it's really humbling, believe me. Because <laughs> I'd been playing... Shoot, I had MSTS when I was a kid, right when it came out. Played that, played... I mean, everything I could get my hands on. And the time that I actually ran Steam for the first time... No. I don't no, know no, if that switch is set for you. It is. Uh, no, no simulator prepares you for any of that, so... Half car, quarter car, stop. These switches are set for you to run around the train. Okay, got my switch here. I know you're good, stop. All right, I was just trying to line it up with the uh, with your very convenient uh, ground markers. Uh, approve or disapprove with RROX. Uh, Railroad's Online Extended It's great. I've not tried it myself, but a lot of people really like it, so I have no issues with it. It doesn't play well with your antivirus, though, because of how it works. I have heard that, yeah. If you were well, in a train I'm going to have to be back in a minute. Needed to be stopped Audio. in an emergency. Could you stop a train if you'd played a train sim? Um, if you have common sense, you could probably figure out how to stop a train. I mean, Make it go faster. There's, there's, the there's nice, uh, nice emergency brake valve uh, markings if you're in the cab. So. I'm not sure if you're going to clip I the car. We'll find out. I think, I don't think we're going to clear. It's going to be razor thin if we do. So I'm going to come to a crawl here. Eh, just boop it. It's fine. It goes past, eh? No, the car, I took the brakes off the back to come to the front. Oh. And it... 
Just shave that's it. That's close. Just shave it. The, apparently there's that's no collision fine. on that one stake. Yeah, that's great. Uh, okay. You're good to come back. How much calls they? Did you look? Uh, we can I can look, look now. now. Uh, breaks are off. Let's see. You got 340. Very nice. So you, when you just come back, you'll grab the, the hoppers that are at the smelter and do you a... Got, you got one beam and it looks like 18 rails. 18 rails, one beam. Do they have like a realistic sim? Uh, there's some more realistic sims out there, and they do sim training to get familiar with subdivisions. But really, um, a train crew. I mean, you, you have to learn it on the job. You learn as a conductor. That's why. That's why no one goes straight to engineer. You have to learn it as the conductor. Learn the railroad. Learn the territory. Understand what the train does. Watch what the engineer does. You know, when you're not dealing with paperwork or whatever else. Um, and then the Sims help you familiarize with that a little bit more. And then there's an extensive guidebook called the Air Brake and Train Handling Rules. So. There are more lifelike Sims that they use to qualify people, you know. But nothing beats the real thing. I should be right back. Um, the, I just bought some snacks today, and I'm debating if I should get the Oreos or the Pringles. It's tough. The Oreos. Tough decision. Oreos. Yeah, but the Pringles would be more fun to crunch into my microphone for chat. Well, you know. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. I'll let you guys know what I decided. the plan with 8888 shoot the fuel tank cut off yeah that's uh i mean that that's a, the emergency way to shut down a diesel engine from the side is to press the efco emergency fuel cut off and uh i mean it's uh, using a gun to do that's not brilliant but i made a decision as an adult and grabbed both both i was gonna say <laughs> Nathaniel says, for someone who wants to work at a railroad museum or scenic railroad of some sort, do you have any advice or knowledge that I should know? Um, the, the advice that I have is not very fun, exciting advice. It's not a great tip uh, that you're going to be excited to hear, but the things that you need to know are you know nothing and don't act like you know anything. Show up, work hard, and don't ask to do any of the fun stuff. And then you get to do the fun stuff. The second you walk into the cab unannounced, or ask to be up in the cab, or ask to run, uh, you get put on the blacklist. Um, and no one cares if you like trains, or want to know, or share your knowledge of XYZ. Get to know the guys first. Some guys will enjoy that, some guys won't. Um, but if you come off as just like a super farmer or something, uh, you know, it doesn't, you don't get to go far, so. But if you show up, and you work with the guys, hang out, have a good time, do the, do the the really sucky jobs clean the pit clean the underside of the locomotive get in the firebox clean that stuff out get in the smoke box clean the smoke box out the stuff no one wants to do you do that work hard don't complain um you know you find yourself being invited into the cab or invited to do more so there's a an old rule that we all joke about about uh, never, never asking for it or never paying for it as far as getting to run a locomotive. If you ever see one of those classes like Cumbrace and Toltec or uh, Nevada Northern has one, and then I think they do them with 611 where you like you get to pay to run one of the locomotives or you pay to, you know, it's the fireman engineer school. Those are neat. Those are cool. Uh, but those are not for people that are like 
going to go do that. Those are for dudes that like trains or people that like trains and they want to get a shot at doing it for real. But no one who is really going to get into that is going to do one of those classes. That's just not the, the way it works. You'll, you'll just work your way up and make it happen naturally. So, <laughs> Dominic Shaw, you suck at building track. Well, so do I. That's why we're running on Clowns World. I'm Chichi back and sign. being entombed in logs. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, it keeps popping you to the top. <laughs> You're buoyant, you. bu buoyant to wood. <laughs> to know. Uh, Wasatch, if you knew the term pharaoh-equinologist, you're a foamer. If you knew that term, you're a foamer. <laughs> it's a great term. I do think it's fun that uh, that people like to put it on, but only those of us that are foamers know that, so. Well, fair enough, Nathaniel. If you just want to get involved and be around it, I mean, then that, uh, just sh do the same thing. And you'll be surprised when uh, when they do ask you up, so. Last two wagons are hard to see because of the trees. All right, you've got one car, half car, quarter car. It's jumping. And go ahead and stop. Add more wood to the fire. I oh no! I just go. <laughs> I'm sure you did. You can. Uh, it might be okay. No, nah, it should be you... okay. It needs fuel. God. One's gonna load them. No, it's not. Yeah, it's no, one. Gotta back it up. Gotta back it up. Yeah, yeah, precisely, Lucas. You must be must be humble. I'm at four fuel. I'm at, I'm at two and a half fuel, and I, I think just to let everyone have an aneurysm, I'm gonna let it run out. Oh, I just put some in. Did you? Oh, that's less fun. You're welcome, chat. I find the people who keep putting fuel in, like, weird. You don't have to do that right now. You, you can wait until the, the fire temperature comes to zero to, to put it in, it really. So, oh you can well. wait until the water temperature drops to 100. Go ahead and stop there. Intrinsically linked to the fire temperature. Yeah. God, that, al that always bugs the hell out of me as someone who's looked at a steam table in a thermo book once. Or twice, or 15,000 times, but you know. Yeah, the boil pressure is not linked oh, to the water temperature. <laughs> it's not linked to the fire temperature. Yeah. Mix asks, what kind of games do I like? Train theme games, simulator games, management games? Yes. Uh, simulator is kind of the least on that. I played a bit of Train Simulator earlier today, actually, to uh, to film a bit of a video. And uh, once I got going, I got bored again. I find Train Simulator is a little boring. But management games are fun. Logistical puzzle games are fun. So, like, Factorio is great. Rollercoaster Tycoon is great. Yeah, like Railroads Online is great. What's not to like about spending $30 on, like, a single engine with a single truck? Thirty dollars with a single engine, right. uh, and then, and then you spend two hours looking at digital scenery that's not really faithfully represented, and the simulation's not very good. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Tell us how you really feel. Apply, right? So, <laughs> I don't know. It, I think um, when I was younger and I I hadn't really done it, I thought they were kind of neat because it's like, oh, you get to drive a train, and this this is like the only way to do it. Um, obviously, we now have games like this and D-Rail Valley that kind of scratch the, the gameplay portion of it, but they're a little bit less um, oh. time commitment-y, you know? There, there extent. is just no other train game at the moment that compares to what this game does. I agree. I agree. This this game's by far above anything else. It, it yeah. may have its little bugs and it may not have all the content yet, but the actual core game itself leaves everything else in the dust. It's got the it's got the management side of it. It's got the building track building side of it. It's got operations. I mean, it's got just a nice little piece of everything uh, that really makes it that special to make the run that you're gonna make. You know, you're invested in it. Whereas, yeah, a train simulator, uh, not so much. So, I've I've played a bit of Transport Fever. Um, I always just wish it was multiplayer. So. Working on an actual railroad seems like it would be fun. Um, not a class one. Short line railroad, maybe. Transit railroad. Eh, commuter railroad. Yeah, maybe. But Have I played Planet Coaster? Wasatch Wind cries. Uh, yes, I, I bought the alpha of Planet Coaster. I was so bloody excited for Planet Coaster. 
and then they just fell so short on the management side that I couldn't get into it. The the path being as bad as it was and the management just not being interesting or compelling. Uh, it ended up being like a sandbox for building roller coasters, which was cool and it was fun to do yeah. for a little bit, but it wasn't it didn't hit the itch like uh, roller coaster tycoon or park architect did. So yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon's good. Any of those theme park games were really good with the way the management was set up in them. Yeah, absolutely. I find train sims boring, says Dev for Railroads Online, which is technically a train sim. This is a different kind of train sim. This isn't the train sim where I sit in the cab looking at garbage scenery for two hours, you know. <laughs> this, this this ties so neatly into the business side. and Bill's garbage track for two hours. <laughs> yeah, builds garbage track for, well, like four hours instead. Yeah. Ties into those bits well enough that I think it's better, so. So, I'm making this form, right? Google form? Do we want this to be a roast my railroad type thing? <laughs> you could have a you could have a category uh, or a, a drop down that is, I think my railroad's great or I think my railroad sucks and I want you to crap on it. And then we can uh, uh, do it either way. Mm. All right. So. Oh, Wasatch, I don't um I don't blame anyone who's really like creative and wants to build roller coasters uh and build scenic things with that game. Planet Coaster's beautiful for that. Um and I I think it's unparalleled in that really, uh unless you're going into no limits, but that's more for the engineer nerds in us. Um it just didn't hit the 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 reason I play the roller coaster tycoon games. You know, the management business piece of it wasn't really there. Different characters will eventually come. I remember there was like some game in the mid 2000s of roller coaster game I played that was like legit, but it wasn't like any of the theme parks, but it was just strictly a build a roller coaster game, and I kind of for the life of me remember what it was. Hmm. Railroads Online is kind of like what Kerbal Space Program did to Space Flight. Takes the most fun parts of it and omits all the really, really not fun realism. <laughs> that's that's vaguely fair. Yeah, I love KSP as well. Do I have a favorite standard gauge steam locomotive? Uh, I, there's a lot of them that I really like. I guess if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be the 4449, just because that was like, the first steam engine I really saw. Um... I think the UP 9000 classes are cool, and I do genuinely like the big boy. I think they're cool. Um, you know, stuff like that. It's fun stuff. If it's just a roast, then I'm next in line. Well, you know, fair. Oh, and Leaf says maybe it was Thrillville Pharma. Maybe. I remember that title. Oh sure, Wasatch. Yeah, send uh, send some pics. That does sound cool. That no, was a PC game. It was a PC game. <laughs> Do I play Gary's Mod Train Build? Uh, no, I have a, a very good friend who has built ridiculous things in train build and honestly I should uh, I should do that uh, we should do some videos about that stuff uh, Brett who was on the uh, rank the tech tree video um, has made some incredible stuff in train build so well because checking was lit indeed Is yeah is, still is. I still play it. It's I have it installed on my phone these days, which is funny that that's an option. Um, and I, if I'm traveling, I tend to play it. All right, we're just coming across the switch now, number eleven. Yep. God, this uh, the Heisler's like, it's like two miles an hour slower than everything else, but this is painful. <laughs> and and. It's actually a very quick route, the direction I've gone. It's almost directly there. 
Oh. Which that makes it even more painful to realise. Right. It is just a long route no matter which way you take it. Favorite articulated steam locomotive. I don't know if I have a specific favorite articulated. The big boys are neat. The challengers are technically better because their spring rigging setup's a lot better and they're equally balanced all the way through. Um, and they can go faster. Some of the compounds are, are fun rather than simple articulateds, but I don't know. I don't know if I, the jury's kind of out on what I have a favorite on, so. Heisler is not the same speed as the Eureka. The Heisler is a little bit slower. The Heisler is capped at, I think, 15, whereas everything else is 17, except the the uh, uh, Climax, which is 11. Transport Tycoon 2 is on the phone? No, I, I hate phones, and I, I only play if I'm, like, <laughs> out somewhere. If I could do everything on my PC, I would. All right, are we just lining with this other consist? Same amount of cars? Yeah, um, tie down a back brake. All right. Please, thank you. The IDK What's Going On channel would totally like to do videos. I mean, tell me what, uh, if you want to collab, let me know. Shoot a DM. Heister and Climax are ugly engines, though. They look weird. Beautiful. Some random they thing. They look this... like I fell out of Mad Max. They do. They really do. Uh, this is um, Clown's track. He's the guy who's been uh, doing the majority of my fixes. Well, him and Mickley. Oh, I don't know. It might be 50-50 between you two. Okay. But Mickley we... and Clown have been uh, fixing my, my railroad. So. Pharma helped some. Pharma did help some. He mostly built most of the roller coaster. You're better at the bat, the uh, the bat poop stuff, rather than the. Uh... I also did <clears> some of between the smelter and iron mine. That's true. You did. I don't know. We'll have to dole it out by by a kilometer or by mile, so we can give credit appropriately. And that one turn around in the canyon. That would be a cool thing to be able to. Well, you, you know, view the track by out. who laid it. That would be the neat. The turn around in the canyon that made the train derail. Because you put the because the bridge yeah, was bridge work above yeah. the rail. <laughs> <laughs> that was entertaining. When the update I've comes out, can you use the Eureka to go zoom? Yes, Eureka will go zoom after the update. Everything will go more zoom than it does, except the logging engines, which will be stuck at the <laughs> speeds that they have now. Four hundred F. Uh, the... You're clicked in. I'm going to go release the final the break. The 400 fire temperature is at 400 Celsius, so. I don't mu know much about the Carson in Colorado. We're coming up on the smelter. Ah, so the shark, I see. Yes, you have sent me DMs. 27 approaching smelter, anybody there? We're at the sawmill. That is not the smelter. Um, I think I have Kroom live chats enabled. I think top chats enabled as, as well. But our donations. Where enabled. are we headed, number eleven? Donations My should be enabled. If uh, people want to do that, if people donate money, yes, then we, we will go look at their the channel. Hang on, we're headed now. You gotta, you gotta ring friends. the bell. You gotta ring the bell as people donate and do whatever other stuff. Right. Yeah, make sure to <laughs> subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified whenever there's a new video and you stream. Do all the things. Yeah. Go to the Twitch, it's high seven 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 on Twitch. Yeah, that's where the fun stuff is. If you go to the Twitch, uh, that's that's right. where we spoil Come things. Come on back to loop around the uh, lumber mill, correct? Class seventy yeah, will probably Sawmill. get one of the sawmill crimes. Alright. Class we'll seventy will six get with uh... lumber, six six with beans. We're good to go keep going. Okay. That. We're just gonna run through. Yeah. Uh, class um, 70 will be able to do probably close to 30 uh, miles an hour, which is terrifying. Are you guys going to pull terrifying. up there at the smelter and switch over to hoppers Sorry, and do a hopper run? You want a hopper run done? Yeah, you can do a hopper run. The coal mine could do a hopper run. 
I'm not sure about the iron mine. I think the iron mine needs another delivery done to it, but the coal mine needs a hopper run. All right, so let's uh, let's back this mess of stakes into the yard and grab the hoppers and go grab some coal. You'll sure. have to split the consist in two on the left-hand side. I was thinking that, yeah. I don't think we'd fit with all these cars. Problem is we can't get around the hoppers. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we could pull them out first and then and then stuff them on the, the track we just came in on. Oh, well, you could put the consist on the... One of those runarounds in the Y under the bridge. I'll fit there. All right. Uh, pull through the Y, Heise. Uh, do you care if we leave it on the runaround or do you want it in the yard? Clown, um, do you I want us? Could... It's probably better to put them in the yard, but yeah, it doesn't matter where you leave them. Are we going to start pick picking up plumber now? Number I think it, it would be the yes. least amount of work. Let, let, Mickley, let's I just back. It. It's heavy. Let's back onto the hoppers, oh, okay. grab the hoppers, <laughs> set the hoppers over to the side. I was on the brakes. It just kept and going. And dump these. It'll be a no lot worries. less work that way. I had just figured we could dump them in the, in the, uh, bleh, 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 those there three go. tracks over there. That's and... going to be more work, I think, than just grabbing the hoppers and tossing them to the side where we can just back onto them later. Nah. So, line us into the hoppers. We'll grab the hoppers, pull the whole sheet and match out, and uh, stuff them over. You're going too fast. You have to All go right. back. Couple I more thought we were already lined into number the, 11. the oh, I, mean, you're you're good, I was number lining 11. the yard switches. Except the yard lead switch. Every switch except yeah. the yard lead switch. Gotcha. Yeah. Exactly. I haven't now heard you know number 27 happening. called out in a while. Are you guys following protocol? No. No, no we're breaking Shoot. the rules over here. We're on local radio, okay? No one's at this industry. All right, all yeah. right. Yeah. Meeting about actually, us. actually, what happened is I started running, and I'm I'm also being the brakeman uh, while running because Mickley's not doing it well enough. <laughs> I was making a Google form. Cool. He was. He, Mickley, Mickley was being a, a champion, and then we press ganged him into into other services. Uh, this is slavery. I'm not even being paid for this. What the heck? <laughs> You're being paid in exposure. Look at all these people you're exposed to online now. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody go sub to my YouTube channel. It's just my name, and I have like 20 subs. Well, if everyone Steal all does your it, subs highs because I upload some. like once every 10 years. Well, they got That's stuff to wait schedule. for. Damn. Uh, <laughs> two cars. Two. 27. Twenty-seven, one car. One now. Half. Half. Quarter. Quarter. Dunk. Dunk. I've forgotten how, but right. I actually have twenty-two subscribers on my channel. Number eleven, go ahead. I'm checking brakes. Give me a second. Twenty-seven. Okay. See, I got yelled at for not doing numbers. Now five, I'm doing numbers. 5k subs. We, we, we hit 5k. I am a lot happier suddenly. Did that happen? That's exciting. Did we? Ice is famous now? I'm famous now? What? All right, go uh, ahead. It still says 498 for me. We hit 5k uh, on 27, good to pull gonna forward. Going to have to come back a little good bit. pull forward, 27. Uh, yeah, I don't know how far you can pull forward, but have fun. You can protect the front. I'm in the back. Yep, I got the front. Let me know yep, when I'm clear. 5K. Refresh. Yeah, 5,004. Look at that. All right, That's number exciting. 11, go ahead and stop there. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining. 5K subspecial. 5K. Whoop, whoop. 5K subspecial. Man, what's that going to be? Here uh, for 5K. We, we filmed uh, <laughs> we filmed some fun stuff earlier today. We filmed the... No, 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 no. I got it. For the 5K special, we can derail every single one of Clown's cars. That could be fun. <laughs> uh, that that could be really impossible. Where are you going to crash them out on my track unless you run over the backside of a twitch? Exactly. He, he, he knows how to... <laughs> Clown, I had to rail the train on your track within, like, you know, two minutes, so... What, on the so backside just... of a... Uh, 27, are you wanting to back the hoppers onto the You want the rest diamond? to make my power. I have the high ground. Twenty-seven. Are you wanting to back hoppers onto the 
onto the, diamond. the onto the diamond. Yeah, where we just ran. Where it came right. from. Yeah. Uh, one car. <laughs> I'm breaking as hard as I can. Yeah, I know. Would it be upsetting if I put one of these oil tankers loaded with oil, mind you, on top of the flare stack? Only you would do it. <laughs> it could be fun, though. Oh, that was a little... <laughs> Good to shove back. Um, Good to shove. I am disconnecting the hoppers now. All right, we'll just kick them. Exactly. All right, number do 11. I'll, whatever I'll kind of drop this is called. Dutch drop. Well, this isn't really a Dutch oh. drop, but yeah. We're just Isn't it cars. technically a flying switch? Flying switch or Dutch drop if, we, if we're if we going forwards and we cut them off and then Ooh. have them roll past us. But just going backwards and then throwing the switch ahead of us is different. I think we're going Ooh, fast enough Munich. you should break. Okay, breaking. And then uh, line the switch and get the hand. You know what you're doing back there. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. sure. We'll, we'll, we'll call it that. Watch as they're doing there. That's exactly the same way I load the port. Right, number 11, go ahead and stop. Right on. So we, we're taking these hoppers to the coal mine, you said, right? Yeah, yeah so we're yeah. going to have to steg, uh, stab the flats in the uh, yard, pick the hoppers back up, and then either we, we could shove them all the way to the coal mine, which, whatever, uh, or we can Y them here. Yeah, do a turnaround on the Y. I'm not sure how much is actually at the iron mine if you, if you want to do the iron good to shove mine. back. Shove back. But we will be heading to the iron mine. We're just loading up the supply for the iron mine. Gotcha. And there's passing tracks and everything at the iron mine if we meet up there. So actually, no, let, well, let's meet at the iron mine. Run to the iron mine. Yeah, sure, so and can, and worst, so worst case, you guys, your guys are being it, the, uh, uh, you guys are going to be resupplying it, so worst case, we'll Yeah, there'll definitely be enough wait, there by the so. time we get there. Yeah. 27, stop. <laughs> 27, pull forward. <laughs> 27, play that order. <laughs> belay that, belay that. <laughs> belay that, belay that. <laughs> roger, roger. Over, over. Um, how? Three, ten, four. Clown, how, how hard can I let these cars hit the stoppers? That speed you're going is probably pretty good. Um, I don't know. I've never hit the wagons up against the stoppers to know how <laughs> what they'll do. <laughs> well, I genuinely can't tell how fast I'm going with the weird jitters I've been getting. <laughs> I have I have not tried hitting the stoppers. Crew, I, I think uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take submissions for Worlds to look at next. and then I'm not that bad of a train operator. Do, uh, so, Heist, do if you want to look at the form, I posted a test form along with some other details in the chat, the Discord chat. You're good to okay. shove these so cars sure. back. I'm shoving. Uh, but I want you to stop before the switch. Sure. So, like, up against the switch stand, and then I'll switch you over. Oh, I see. All right, number 11, one more car length. Are you just going to bonk? Doink. Okay, but you have to pull forward now. Yeah, no, I know. I, I know what I was doing. Are you sure about that? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't know what switch you were talking about until I realized number 11. where you were on about. So. All right. Go ahead and break there. They seem like they needed number more 11. speed. Yeah, you have a sure. Lincoln oh, Pen and Locomotive. Um... Probably not in the cars. Okay. Well, but I'd, I'd check it if I were you. We'll figure it out. But I'm, I need to get these cars in, so. They're moving very slowly because I turned the brake on way too early, but eh. It didn't actually hit the stopper. That's good. I must be good at my job. All right, number 11, you're going to be ready to pull forward here in a minute. Yep, I'm just setting the switches for the way out. All right. You are clear to pull forward. Clown, are you ready for money? Yeah, give me all the money. Line my pockets, make me filthy rich. 
that uh, that form looks great to me, Mick. And you're okay with my comment in the Discord chat? You can just say agree or disagree. Um, All right. Um. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and slow. I, not for this one. If we do it 11, for this one, maybe one car, in the future, 11. if it if it really deems Half it. Half car but... number eleven. Go so you're gonna say there. agree then? Agree. Asterisk. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. stop. And then it keeps uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post. Right, come back the, a little bit, number eleven. It looks like that, that, that link wants in the to chat. Come back about half a car. All right, all you weirdos, feel free to take this form. Okay, number eleven, go ahead and stop there. You're good. That looks good. This game really shines when you get to play with other players. It is just a lot of fun to communicate and yeah, work on the, stuff. The, the actual um, multiplayer with several trains going at once is... Yeah, yeah. We're, well, we've got three consists running at the moment with three crews. <laughs> That's fun. Are you past the Y? Uh, I am in the fiddly yard at the other end of the Y here. Alright, you're switched to back out. Alright, number 11, go ahead and pull forward for our final loading. Uh, actually, stop real quick. Oh no, we have a passing track up at the Iron Mine. Stop okay. real quick. Yeah, we can you're go good. stop you're good. in the passing 27, track. 27, all back. So there's there's full ahead and then full behind, full back. Full back. What's what's the terminology for that? <laughs> you just say bring Third it back and then a 11. bunch of cars and then we the engineer Go would ahead figure and stop it out. There, number eleven. All right, take it back now, y'all. Right, I ain't stopping. Looks like we can load it. I don't know, I don't know then, if Clown gave us track warrants. And we're just going to take him, hope for the best. <laughs> Once you're past that switch, I'll get it set up, but the rest of the switches are set for leaving this melter, 27. Beautiful. This is going to be a race to the iron mine, because we're just about to leave. All right. Well, we're Number at the, 11 we're at the is... smelter, so... Um... Our route is like half of yours. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're leaving. Well, we're leaving too. So 27, confirm when you're past switch. Throw it. Alrighty. Speedy, speedy time. Form B. Who owns the truck? Beans. Form we're B is only for on the maintenance. Same track. We're not. We're not doing maintenance away. Form B is only for maintenance away employees. Yeah, if that's not a track occupancy thing, Form Bs are, are, I think they're actually specifically for CTC controlled territory. Number 11, are we headed straight through or are we going to take the right? Uh, we are line correctly. Copy that. This map is private. It's Clown's map. Do you have any stories about railroad police? God, I've been told many and I've been involved with a couple, mostly involving homeless people because Seattle and the rail yard and homeless people. <laughs> okay, giving it the beans. Could have stopped in Seattle. You didn't have to mention homeless people. Copy homeless. that. Giving it the beans. <laughs> well, you know. We had, um, there's about two I can think of off the top of my head. We had a, a homeless guy jump off of a coal train that was running past the shop going 50 miles an hour. He jumped off, blew his knee wide open, compound fracture of his leg. Um, really gross. One of the grossest things I've seen in person, but um, other than the literal ton of poop, which I'm talking about in tomorrow's episode of Derail Valley. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he jumped off the train, and he said he'd been hitching trains since Colorado. And uh, he saw that he was going past Seattle, so he figured he, he better jump off. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> you know, like, not your best strategy, but sure. He didn't have a speedometer. 
he, he didn't, no. <laughs> he just saw that train was going fast past Seattle, so he decided to jump off. Why did you turn the sander on? Um, because it looks like I'm slipping. And and it doesn't change when I set the reg lower. Hi, so trains don't slip in this except the climax. Unless you just don't have enough power to go up. And it's only 2.75, it shouldn't be slipping. That looks like it. I, I guess the Heisler is, the Heisler is just like sad and slow, so... Alright. We have 10 hoppers, right? Heisler speed. Yeah. We do. I can pull them up there with a the cook mogul, so there should be no problem at all pulling them up with the Heisler. See. In theory. And yes, there's uh, more copy pasta about NW2s having engines, which is exciting. <laughs> Woo, copy pasta. All right, let's check on responses to my oh-so-fantastic form. There have been a total of three. All three made by Krum? I don't think any of these are made by Krum. One of them is me. Yeah, one of them's Pharma. The other one... Uh, I, yeah, I have no idea who these people are. Have we got a break on some way? Uh, let me go check that out. Oh, I would have checked that out, but I am now at the bottom of the ravine. <laughs> you should be able to catch up because we're not actually moving I've that never quick. run a seven and a half inch gauge engine. I've run three foot gauge, standard gauge, and then model trains. Uh, oh, other whistles. I mean, it depends on what recordings we can get licensed for uh, or what recordings we can take. So... The, there will said be a that six, they have not submitted. There will be a six chime in the game, because I built a six chime. So we'll have my six chime in the game. That's really cool. Um, just, just is saying. this particular six chime going to sound like it's filled with water? No, it'll, 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 it'll sound like no a Santa Fe six chime, pretty much. So. Check the tender mm. again. Yep. Well, I'm in we pain with this ice though right slide. now, so... That breaks off. Well, Lost Touch, uh, we might have some other whistles added, maybe. I mean, it just depends on what recordings we can get licensed for. Whistles are kind of a thing of... If people had them, they tossed them on the locomotives. <laughs> I mean, it's not really that, like, stuck, set in stone, so... Halloween update that replaces the whistle of organ sound when? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there are there any handbrakes that are still on, Mick? No. Yeah, we're we're also going slower than expected over here on number eleven, so maybe it's a uh, uh map. Server thing. slow down. Server yeah, slow server. down. I've I've only got so many FPS, we've hit the the limit of what the host FPS can accomplish. Cause yeah, I feel like <laughs> Even even at Heisler limited speed, I feel like I'm still going too slow. The climate I think we're going to break at A speed. I'm not sure what it is because I'm nowhere near it. Yeah, please stop asking for the big boy. See, this is why we need to put me as the as the host, and then you get all the nice frames with with uh, streaming, and I get to suffer. Yeah, next time we do a big save like this, we'll have to do that. He gets all the nice glitchy trains as well. Oh, yeah, the jumpy trains. Real yeah, someone, sa jump. someone said we're low on fuel, but I'm going to let them suffer until the water gets to 100 degrees. Fun fact, though, for all of you chat, uh, my graphics card is sitting at about 69 degrees Celsius. Nice. Exactly. I'm going to have nice. to look and see. Could you use recordings used by model railroad sound systems? No, we can't use recordings. We have we don't have copyright for. That's the problem. Yeah, that'd be licensed. Yeah, we need to have permission from whoever took the recording to use their recording. So even if it's cut off of YouTube, or even if it's from another train sim like Trains or whatever, or MSTS, even we have to have permission from the original person who recorded it. So it's not as simple as just taking a, a sound file and pasting it in the game. So. 
Watch copyright exists. Thank you for it explaining does. that. We're just running at prototypical speeds, I suppose. <laughs> Walk in pace. Something like that. Just let me know when you want fuel, Heist. Uh, we're still. I've still got 150 degrees to go till it comes to zero, so. This section of the track is pretty overcurrent. I'm gonna go back to my own railroad and I'm gonna look at the track with ties just piled on top of the ballast and feel bad about it. <laughs> Read my submission, please, says Kroom. Mick, why don't you take a look at it and tell us if it's dumb? It says, I'm Kroom and he did not submit a mini's wiggling, and as such, it is invalid. Yep. Disqualified. Yeah, uh, we got a line of switch to go to the iron mine here. Huh? Beautiful. What switch? What switch? The one that just magically lined itself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where yeah. these other two are at. Believe me, I wish we could... Uh, A lot closer than we I are. I wish we could just use any recording. That would make it so much easier, but... Uh, it's 12.37 a.m. now. We've been at this for a little bit. Probably get to the iron mine and we'll probably uh, sign off here. But Yes, it's a race of the iron mine. We're coming up the east, uh, the west side of the valley and you're coming up the east side. Yeah. <laughs> you guys won't know where we are, but we'll know where you are. And then you'll watch the stream and then you'll know where we are. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. oh, I think I think the... Cookie's going to win this. I have a feeling that would be the case. Even though we're loaded. <laughs> ah, Jay Christensen, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad that you were working on the 223, but politics are always... Uh, mm. So, somebody had asked about my temps. Uh, my CPU is sitting at about 68, and the GPU is about, at about 69. So it's about the same. Nice. Me pull up I'm pretty sure I need to repaste nice. my CPU though. I'm pulling up mine to see where I'm at. Cooler off to get some are air you, uh, out of it. Are you in Celsius or Fahrenheit? Uh, I was saying that in Celsius. My CPU is 43 degrees Celsius, but it is liquid cooled. And my graphics card does not have a temperature on it. So far as I can tell, I wouldn't be. You can see it. I, um, my computer it's... is yes, it's a temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Task About manager to usually off. has a. Uh, if you're running Windows, Task manager uses a readout on temperature for the GPU. Oh really? Yeah. Why not? CPU memory, GPU. It says percentages. I don't see. Perform. Is it under performance tab? Who's whispering? Ah, uh, okay. I was just talking to the missus. Mmm, sus. Gosh, you just got <laughs> home from work. At 2 a.m.? Oh, hey, we need, oh. we need, we need fuel now. We're, oh, we're it's actually far beyond the fuel. Here in East Coast Australia. It's fine. Oh, I, I've been, I've been watching chat, and they're not having a heart attack, so I had to well, some, some, Somebody just had a heart attack, but it actually looks like the crown sheet's already uh, liquefied, so it's fine. <laughs> just blow it up. I don't think you're going to make it up if you don't put some wood in that thing. Showed them. <laughs> it, this is fine. This is fine. We're not stopping at all. We got 70 PSI in this thing. 69. Nice. Nice. Nice indeed. Exactly. Uncle Drax has it. Personal project. You can use whatever you want. But if you're selling it, you have to have the copyrights in order otherwise you'll have a sad time which is why you'll note there are no songs that I didn't write that are newer than like 1935 in the soundtrack so proto random the magic switches good. is railroads online extended well, I'm I need to hit a car break I'm, I'm setting the break on this so. to use pistol popping finger looking good in the soundtrack oh god they're gonna beat us and uh yeah no <laughs> yeah, they were going to beat us regardless. We, you were, yeah, they were going to beat we us. We have a longer round. 
far. Um, yeah. No, you don't. You actually have the shorter route. Going We're all the way around? 5. We're at 1.5 and you're at 2.75. You climb much quicker. That would explain why I ran out of pressure and See, it was a big problem. But they uh, refused to stoke their fire, so... They did. Well, you know. Nah, dude, we have like twice <laughs> as much track as you do. Because we had to come all the way out of the smelter. Do I need to hit a handbrake, guys? I keep trying to move it and it doesn't want to go, which is sad. 40 PSI and it can't pull a train up the hill. Come on. Shake my head. Amateur. The problem is you got a high storm instead of a C70. A C70 would have stored more fuel and you wouldn't have had this issue. We were just making fun of chat oh. and then it came back to bite us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Chat's revenge. <laughs> right, you're gonna have to wait until the boil pressure gets to at least 80 before you even attempt to do anything. Uh, well, that's not how it works on the real locomotives, Kai. Okay? <laughs> okay, well, well, um, um, actually. Um, um, actually. I have watched 491 shove a 54 ton diesel locomotive in Notch 1 fighting it. 491 had 50 psi on air, and we almost shoved it off the turntable. Ask me how I know. Okay, Sounds again, like that's real good and all, but happened. you know, when we're driving a real high slot, then I'll listen to your PSI readouts. Until well, then, enough. we're playing Railroads Online. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we are, aren't we? For the fifth time, what do I think would really stop Heritage Roads if something were top happen? And uh, can I get my form looked at? Your, minis, your mini works has gaming time in it. We can look at your form. Uh, I can tell you we're probably not going to look at any other levels tonight because we're just going to be done. Uh, but um, I, what would stop Heritage Railroads? Someone blowing up a steam engine. <laughs> how, do, how, do you get, do how do you get them all parked? Someone blow one up. Stares vaguely at people that do their stuff wrong. Yeah, as soon as someone has a, a big catastrophic failure on a steam locomotive again... That will ruin the fun for everyone. So make sure you do stuff right, everyone. So assuming since Heiss has officially said we're not doing anything tonight in terms of looking at the saves, I'm going to go ahead and post the, post it, the link to the put Discord. It in Discord and, and we'll we'll get to it eventually. And anytime yeah. I get somebody DMing me about, oh, play my track, I'll send them to the thing and then we'll review them as, as we get a chance so if there was a locomotive blown up before yes when steam locomotives were common and before the fra had new boiler laws the gettysburg locomotive didn't blow up they just almost blew up that's different there's a big difference between almost blowing oh, up and actually blowing up. To come in. copy that number 11 also sometimes they put dynamite in them for movies also true which makes me very sad yeah, poor, three, poor 345 and 319. Watch that video today, and I, I cry every time. Steam wasn't going to do enough, so they loaded them with explosives, and then they prematurely detonated them, so they blow up before they touch. <laughs> Didn't even touch yet. They just ex I did catch that. And, well, and I can't redo. And then even with the TNT, the, the boiler still didn't break. <laughs> They, they look remarkably not that blown up in the <laughs> scenes slightly after. It was uh, something. The form has been posted to the Discord with the caption, We Content. And at some point, there will be a stream soonish, maybe TM, to feature track. Perfect. Pull ahead, number 11. Yep. Yeah, well, such that's really the the truth. <laughs> so anything oh, that would ground steam routing, same thing with the uh, space flight. Yeah, any failure. For reference, they're at the iron mine already. Yeah, oh, we're, we're already uh, unloading. We're still uh, you know, a couple miles out. We'll be there. We're gonna eventually. have to go save them. No, we're we're we're, we're rolling just fine. The yeah. Heisler's just slow as balls. And you'll notice there as you're coming up the hill, all the really steep sections and the level sections, I've gone around them to keep that nice, perfect 2.75 grade the whole way up. I have noticed that. <laughs> I 
at this point, Thomas, any plans for future maps are yes. uh, possible. More maps, bigger maps, yes. These will all happen in time. Specifically a prairie map? Um, it's possible. I mean, the uh. next map we're looking at is going to be kind of uh, coastal themed. Coastal, desert, something relevant. One more the, number, uh, 11. Yeah. Flames. One. Uh, okay. Uh, Ryan yeah, O'Donnell. The Hawaii uh, map with the signals update and the signals be restricted to the Hawaii map. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the tech tree for locomotives is pretty much solidified, so... You're not liable to see any updates to it until it's complete. And then, then maybe then, will we see the prophecy. Can I grab that Lumber one? Uh, I've hit Alt and Enter at the same time in Catastrophe. Okay, hold on, my screen's back. <laughs> so, Pastor, are you sure the C70 is going to get up to 40 as well? Because, like, that just seems okay. like kind of... Yeah, we buffed the Eureka, Got it back, but yeah. you'll still be using the C70 instead, lol. Nah, uh, Class 70 should be able to get to up to about maybe 30 and it should get unstable at about 25 really um, so I mean we're going to have to discuss how we cap them and, and what unstableness looks like and how that works still which is why it's going to be a while till everyone sees the update of course um, but class 70 probably 25, 30 Eureka will be probably 40, 45 so pretty significant change still have edited the post to ping you, so you're welcome. You edited it? All right, so number 11, you me? are unloaded. Yeah, I had just had your name before. I edited it to officially oh, feature your name. you only, okay. Not so that anytime anyone replies to it, they ping me. Okay, I see. Uh, no. I don't know how to do that or if that's even possible. All right, number 11, where are we going? <laughs> we are reverting back and we'll pull into the Passing line. Okay, sounds good. Copy that. We're on your, uh, your, on your bow here. About. Chrome, two the train link is off. in uh, general. Railroading terms. As the Discord. Aye, aye. We will be out of your ride by the time you get here. Better be, or run you over. And there's 220 something on there to pick up. Should have brought more hoppers. I think I'm gonna get this uh, up to the uh, iron mine, and I think uh, we'll, we'll pause and uh, and we'll stop there. I think for the evening, we might uh, we might swap over to Twitch for uh, in a couple minutes for some some fun stuff, but uh, I think we're gonna be done on YouTube here. But we'll leave Clown with the the train ready to load for him. So, Adam, the link was posted in general chat and. Maybe high school pin it if he feels like it. I really don't feel like it. <laughs> Alright, it's not getting pinned. Come on ahead, number 11. Coming up, coming forward. And All then right. In terms of new locomotives coming to the game soon, uh, yes, soon. Soon. Ish, TM. maybe, TM. After the, uh, after the spline update, which is going to be massive. Anyways, Clown, this has been Very great excited. to, uh, this has been great to look at your railroad. Your track laying is, is genuinely I'm beautiful. Glad um, you all enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the unloading markers, the, the groundworks uh, sinking in, you know, the track sinking into the groundworks all the way across, smooth curves, constant grades. I mean, you, you've put a ton of time into this, and it really, it really shows. Like, this is like the epitome of a railroads online map. So uh, if anyone thinks they lay track better than Clown, I'd like to hear what you think. Um, and I'll be glad to tell you you're wrong. So, anyways, um, I found one thing I would change. One? What is it? Um, this switch at the very end of the oil field has the switch on the opposite side to the other switches. I would have it be so that they're all on the same side. Okay. Um, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, we have found which, a mistake. <laughs> which, which which way you're approaching the switch? If it's on the right hand side when you're approaching the switch, because that's generally how I put the where I put the switch stand at is on the right hand side because I'm standing on the right hand side of the locomotive. In first person view. I I don't drive in the train menus. I flip. 
flip levers and lean out the window. Good man. Yeah, I was just mentioning because the other two switches are on the left. Yeah, it depends on which way you're approaching that bit of track. So if you wanted all the switches on the right, then perhaps the yard should lean the other way, so then you could have all the switches be on the right. Shots fired. Shots fired indeed. A story for... Yeah, you'll, have, you'll, have wow. to start, you'll have to circle it for me which one it is, and I'll have a look. <laughs> It'll and be a, a, a story a for uh, for another episode, but this is... Uh, is there a form for track maintenance that needs to be filed? <laughs> I guess so. We're going we're gonna to have to get a form B out. <laughs> Clown's gonna have to go out there and, and uh, flip a switch, switch stand to the other side. And inspect. So. Yes, I'll have to go and inspect the track. Send the track inspector out. That's the point of the hand car. Someone asked that earlier. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And uh, God, uh, God help me. Submit your railroad to the forum if you want us to maybe look at it. No guarantees. I only have so much time. Thanks, everyone. And uh, that's it for tonight. But maybe, maybe, maybe look at my Twitch in maybe 15 minutes or something. So, you know.